Can I go to the sleepover? I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. We are a part of the Health Science Village, and it is um, all of our passions as our group to help as many people as possible, and this free little pantry is a way we can help people. We created this project. It was a requirement for our humanities class, so we kind of had to, but then we looked into the importance it hold, held in our community, and we really got invested in it and put all of our time in it to make sure it could reach as many people as possible. So the pantry project um, belongs to our Humanities 120 class that we teach through BCTC. Um, this was our first year bringing humanities into our um, health science curriculum. Basically, we had done a UK Next Gen class um, for our spring semester for two years, but it felt like just having an elective wasn't using students' time as effectively as we could. And I have a master's degree in humanities, so I was able to work with ECTC to bring this course to our school. Um, as I was brainstorming ideas for the class, I wanted to do something that brought the arts into health and our health science teacher Joe Jones her daughter Heather Tilly had started a free little pantry the year before and so we wanted to take that idea and see how we could make that a part of our humanities curriculum. Our little free pantry is located at a church called My Church here in Georgetown, Kentucky. Our free little pantry holds such importance because we have a lot of individuals struggling with food insecurity here in Scott County and there are food banks available but not um, that are 24 hours. Our pantry is 24 hours, 7 days a week. Anybody can access food at any time. So the news graphic provided us with four boxes that we could use for free little pantries. Uh, we kept the name news graphic on the box, but to make it not look like a newspaper box anymore, we decorated them. Um, we, since we had four boxes and 42 students, I put the students into groups of 10, and we had a project manager, a social media czar, um, a community engagement team, and an outreach team. And so that way they could divide the project up into different sections, and we also had our artists. Um, they came up with the themes and then they made them into reality. So I took a lot of the research that our project manager made and I kind of combined it into a way that the public could see it on a flyer so that they'd be interested in our project and know that it's out there. And we would put it up around our school and we put it up around like different locations. We, it's even in this school too, so yeah. And um, it just really helped to get our project out there three people that were box miller artists I think and we just volunteered those roles because we just wanted to make the box colorful and uh, like really so you could see it from a distance away in case you couldn't find it. I'm pretty proud of this project. It was a lot of fun to see how the students were able to connect what they were learning in two different classes, health science and humanities with a community need and they were pretty proud of it as well. They thought it was very difficult when they started it, but once they completed the project and they ended up doing um, presentations for our health science advisory board members, they recognized how much they had learned from the experience. And then when we, d we did mock interviews for our juniors as our final project of this year, Almost every junior referenced what they had done in the pantry project is something that was formative for them. Um, I learned that a lot of people, like most people in our class, don't really have to think about where the next meal comes from. And I learned that it's like more common and a lot more people have to worry about what they're going to eat for dinner and stuff than you think. And how just because they don't show you in school and it, they don't tell you how it affects them, it still affects people. And we also had a person write a note to us the other day about how thankful they were for the food and stuff, and it was really inspiring to see that in our work. They said, hi, I just wanted to thank whoever does this. You guys make a difference in this selfish world. And it was from somebody named Jay. I could see us sticking with this project for a while until we're at least in college, because uh, we know the effect it's had on people because we've got feedback such as that note. and. Um, that we, it really helps us to know that people uh, are grateful and appreciate what we do.